My name is Akoswa Danso. I'm 35 years old and I'm the wastewater treatment engineer. Engineering is very challenging, but it's also very rewarding. You're able to change the lives of not just one person, but thousands, even millions of people. The career opportunities are so vast. When you become an engineer, you're so well-rounded. Your ability to solve problems and analyze and your thinking skills are really top level. So you can really venture into almost any sector. So my work contributes to a healthier and more sustainable community in Drakenstein by ensuring that the wastewater effluent that we discharge into the Berg River is of the desired quality because the Berg River is one of the most important water resources in the Western Cape. So we have to make sure that we protect it. So the way I keep myself abreast with the rapid um, changes and developments in technology is I do a lot of research on my own. So I've got a lot of friends um, in Malaysia where I study. So I always speak to them. I always discuss what are their treatment methods that they're using. Um, I'm also looking at alternatives to chlorine disinfection because we've got a shortage of chlorine in the country at the moment. So I think chlorine disinfection is not really the future. To young girls considering a field in engineering, I would say engineering is very challenging, but it's also very rewarding. Um, there's so many career opportunities. If you're someone who enjoys problem solving, if you enjoy being outdoors, because it's not only office space, you also get to be working outdoors as well. I would say go for it. That's definitely the career for you. My success story is working on the project, which was the implementation of basic services to our informal settlements. This was the provision of toilets and stand taps for drinking water. And this is just to ensure that these people had dignity and better quality of life. So there are various ways that people can report their blockages at home um, to the municipality. They can either do it via there's a hotline or they can download the app, which is called C-Click Fix on their phones and report the blockages there. I think that's a nice way because they get a reference number and they can always follow up with that reference number. And they can also get general information, which is available on Drakenstein's website.